Hello guys, how are you today? I hope you're safe, fine and healthy. I am Nermeen Ismail, math teacher from Taqwaya. Today we are going to talk about money. Okay, so before we start, I want to tell you a little story. Okay, so our friend Ali went to the toy store to buy some toys. And after picking the toy that he wanted to buy, he went to the salesman. And the salesman told him, um, okay, you should pay for these things. Okay, pay? What is the meaning of paying? He told him that you should pay with money. He told him money? What is the meaning of money? And how can I pay for things? Okay, Ali, we will tell you what is the meaning of paying and what is the meaning of money. Okay, Ali, so money is used to pay for various goods and services. Money consists of banknotes and coins. Each country has its own currency. Like in Saudi Arabia, they have the real. In Kuwait, they have the dinar. In USA, they have the dollar. But here in Egypt, we have the Egyptian pound. And we can write it as L-E, Egyptian pound. Okay, let's know more about the different Egyptian banknotes. So we have the one bound, one bound, okay, we have five bounds, five bounds, we have ten bounds, ten bounds, we have twenty bounds, twenty bounds, fifty bounds, fifty bounds, one hundred bounds, and 200 pounds. We have the 1, 5, 10, 20, 50, 100, and 200 pounds. Okay, so if I want to show the price of this cake, this cake is for 200 pounds. Okay, so of course I can buy it with the 200 pounds banknote. Okay, what about this bowl? So this bowl is 10 pounds. So I can buy it with the 10 with the 10 pounds banknote. Okay, what about this little toy? This toy is for 50 pounds. Okay, so okay, so I can buy it with 50 pounds, the banknote of 50 pounds. And here one pound. This sweet is for one pound, so I can buy it with the one pound coin. Okay, what about these balloons? These balloons are for five pounds, so I can show or I can buy them for the five pounds banknote. Okay, the cranes are for 20 pounds, 20 pounds, so I can buy them with the 20 pounds banknote. And the last one here, the t shirt, this t shirt is for 100 pounds. So I can buy it with the 10, with the 100 pounds banknote. Okay, so do you remember when we were talking about the bowl? We said, we said that the bowl is for 10 pounds. So how can you pay with 10 pounds? I can pay it with different ways. So this is called decomposing money. Decomposing money is to show different ways to pay for the same amount of money. Like if I want to pay for 10 pounds, so I can pay with different ways. For the bowl with the 10 with the 10 pound banknote, or we can pay for it with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten coins. So we said that decomposing money means different ways to show the same amount of money. So do we have another ways? Yes, here I have five and five. Five plus five equals 10. So it's 10 pounds. Okay, and this one also, I have a one bank note of five and one, two, three, four, five coins. So I have four ways to pay with the same amount, with the 10 pounds. Okay, let's move to the next part. Count the money and write the total amount. Okay, here I have 10, 20, 30, 
40 and 5. 10, 20, 30, 45. So it's 45 bounds. Okay, let's have another example. I have here 50 and 10 and 20, 5 and 1, 2 coins. Okay, so let's start counting from the biggest one. So it will be 50, then 20. So 50 plus 20 equals 70. 70 plus 10 equals 80. 80 plus 5 equals 85. After 85, 86, 87. So this is 87 bounds. Okay, let's have another example. So here I have 50, 20, 20, 5, 5. Okay, so 50, we said that we start with the biggest one. So 50 plus 20 equals 70. 70 plus 20 equals 90. 90 plus 5 equals 95. After 95, 96, 97, 98, 99, 100. So this is 100 bounds. So the last one is 50, 10, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4 coins. So I will start with the biggest one, 50 plus 10 equals 60, 60 plus 5 equals 65, 66, 67, 68, 69. So this is 69 bounce. Okay guys, you did it. Thank you and see you in another video. Bye.